guys, uh, quick update on the road to Adepticon, I'm sorry, Gen Con. Um, I got a lot more done on the Chosen of um, Zinch. It came out pretty well. I'm very excited for it. I will show more pictures, but I'll just do a little brief thing here. So I put them on the base so I can actually do this. Let's see if I can do. Uh, well, it's not the best, but you can see some of the stuff I've done. And then the wings, kind of a lot. They are big. And I want to put this where he's floating up on a rock, which I'll, I'll have some pictures for that as well. So this is number three. Um, he's in the video, he's about 90% done. Um, pretty excited about this guy, how he turned out. And, uh, but I'm going to, after I get some more work on this one, I'll do a separate video on the actual guy, uh, for corn. And you'll see a little bit more in depth him, some of the, some of the video pictures and things like that. I'll take some close ups and integrate the video. But, uh, I want to actually show in this video how I did some of the feathers and how I work with the feathers. And it is basically a 24 hour process to make a feather unless you're doing like a whole wing and then you just line up the feathers just going from top down but then after that dries you then can put the other feather layer on top of it so each layer is about 24 hours and then you got to do the back and then there's a second wing so a lot of times it takes a while but as you see it's well worth it um so this is a, just going to be a quick update for this um, and i'll post some pictures inside this video as well but we're getting closer and closer to uh, Gen Con. I might actually put these in the open category at Adepticon, but they seem to be very, like I looked at some of the Golden Demon entries and some of the stuff I was like, how did this not place? Like everything that placed was amazing. Everything that placed was amazing. But like there was this diorama where it was like Loyalist Marines versus Chaos Marines. And I can't remember the gentleman's name, but it was fantastic. It was fantastic. Um, David Soper's piece was fantastic. It's probably one of my favorites. I understand why the other duel or diorama with the Gargant and the uh, Giant Hydra one, it's it's perfect. Like it is perfect. And the way the waves are working, it's just, it's it's, it's amazing. Can't see anything wrong with that. Can't fault it. That's and that's something that Games Workshop does is they look for faults first and then they go backwards. Um, and the storytelling is amazing too. But I'm pretty biased towards Nurgle and uh, and that is, Dave is one of my favorite artists. So, but anyways, uh, if you have anything else, if you have any questions about some of the sculpting, I will put more um, links about how I've sculpted certain things in process so everyone gets an idea because um, it is not as quick as everyone thinks. That's the most important thing that I would tell everyone is just starting off with green stuff. And big shout out to my mentor, Jorteza, for that. He taught me how to sculpt like 20 some years ago. Um, and it's basically having resources set up to sculpt with stuff. So a lot of times you'll see things that look like, wow, how did he do that? Well, it was just a block and he literally just cut it out and then he trimmed it and then he sculpted on top of it or a lot of things are just in parts. It's a lot of waiting and time consuming process of like, okay, this part's done. Now I gotta wait 24 hours for the next part. So you work in multiple pieces at one time and then you put it all together. Um, so anyways, thanks so much for watching. Until next time. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to create some green stuff. First off, you're gonna mix it together just like this. You wanna make sure that you mix it totally to where it is actual green. You don't have any chunks or anything else in there. Now this will set in about five to 10 minutes, but I let everything sit overnight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be creating some feathers on here. And that's what's gonna work with this. So create little balls. And then what I'm gonna do is just sort of make them into like little ovals. And then you're just going to put them down. Now I'm using one of my quality assurance sheets here because these are plastic. And the reason why it's good is because um, they have, I can get them off later. So we're going to take this and you want to wet your sculpting tool. I use kind of lick it. You're going to sort of press these down and you're going to pull one side a little bit more than the other. And you can sort of sculpt it as you go.
And a lot of the feathers here are very elongated. So we're gonna do that just a bit. And they come to little points. So make that, we do this, and we'll do this one right here. I'll do the other ones later. Now you'll see there's fingerprints here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smooth those out. Try to get that to a nice little point. And if it doesn't, you can actually cut it if you want, but I'm gonna make this just about like there. All right, now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put a little line in the middle and you can do a little like this. And then you just take this and just sort of go, you don't wanna to do too much because then it looks a little bit too fake. We just sort of grow off to the side like that. And then we're gonna do this one right here. I'm gonna do that. Nothing, nothing fancy, just a little line. And then you can also go back in and put little notches in there if you want to. That's not a bad thing right here. And then you're done. So here is the actual finished set out for 24 hours, the little uh, feathers. And how we're gonna do is we're gonna, I made a couple more. But the easiest thing it is is that you just pull these back and just slowly pull them off. And then they come out just like that. Now the cool thing is, is that like you have a bunch of these, just like this. And then what you can do is you can put them on your normal guy. So here's my guy. And then you can put these on just like little various places like coming off the robe. Or sorry, let's put that there. The staff. Um, I could do it off of his gun anywhere I want, basically. And then that's how you make the little extra feathers. Now, some of the work I'd actually done here is, like, I put more feathers just up top around where the cloak was to hide. And this guy is approximately, I want to say, 90% uh, done with sculpting. I need a little bit more refined touches and finishes up here, a little bit up there. And then I've got some stuff here to put down. But other than that, it's all, almost all done. So that's a good work on, uh, or good look on the, the feathers.